I wanted to become a doctor for a zillion reasons. I love working in the third world, I love travel, um, I like working with people, I was really good at tests, I read a lot, and mostly I have an insatiable curiosity. If you're a self-starter, if you like to explore, you know, if you're curious and if you're willing to just kind of work things out as you go, it's kind of an ICC mentality in a traditional clerkship. I had some concerns about being in Vancouver and being, you know, just one of a number. Often, if you're in a larger center, you're the third-year medical student, and then there's the, sometimes the fourth-year medical student, there's a junior and senior resident and a fellow, and then there's the attendee, and together with some visiting students sometimes. So through all those people in that hierarchy, it can be hard to get some one-on-one -on -one exposure time and to get to do some procedures. I got to be first assist on many of the surgeries, and that was a huge benefit. That was um, a lot of fun. In the first two years of the program in Vancouver, it's over 200 students. It's easy to get lost. It's easy to not build relationships with the faculty and staff. Whereas here, um, everybody knows everybody, and um, I feel like I'm not alone. I feel like I'm being taken care of. I feel like I'm being guided through the process, and that's really been important. I wanted to come specifically to a smaller center because I wanted to be able to get as much hands-on exposure as I could and to get the best clinical training that I, I, I thought I could get. I wanted to be in a smaller hospital, and a hospital where I didn't have to move around, where I could stay in the same facility for the whole year and uh, not have to worry about learning the ropes at different hospitals and building new relationships with the nursing staff and the administrative staff and, and other physicians and, and being able to really develop some good relationships. If you want to be a specialist, Cologne is a great place because you can get exposure to specialty medicine in a small site and that's really what it came down to for me. Kelowna General Hospital is expanding. It's nice to be in a new centre. I just actually saw the ORs for the first time today from that we'll be operating in um, as of later this year. And they're beautiful. They're huge. They're, there's tons of new equipment. I'm, I'm jealous that I'm not going to be doing my surgery rotation there. One of our new buildings is the, um, the Clinical Academic Centre. A pristine, beautiful building. Got a, a beautiful library. A lot of the feedback I got from some of the residents visiting from Vancouver was of how great the building was. I think it's going to be a great experience for the students coming next year because they'll be in this new centre. I'm originally from Vancouver. I lived and worked in Kelowna for about eight years before deciding to go back to study medicine. I have family. I started medical school as a seven month old and she's now three. Um, and just being back in Kelowna and being where I have the social support was really important. And it's really important just because medical school is tough and it's good to have um, family and friends around that can help through the difficult times. It's got all the amenities of a big town, but it has a really small town feel still. And I find even, not just um, in the medical community, but in the professional community in Kelowna in general, it's not just about making money and getting ahead. It's about being part of the community. It's about family. It's about balance. You can go from the hospital to home in 10 minutes, and it gives you a lot of extra time. Like, you're not running around town all the time, um, or from different hospitals and spending a lot of time in commute. Like, so you have a lot of extra time to just explore your own pursuits. I'm not from BC, and so I'm still fairly new to the area. So the Okanagan is, is an absolutely beautiful part of the country, and uh, there's a ton of things to do here. In the winter, I do do a little bit of snowboarding. I do like to hike, so in the summer, there's a hiking trails nearby. And I do also enjoy the wineries. That is a certain, a, certainly a bonus. There are a lot of them in the Okanagan. And just kind of exploring other communities and exploring the, the Okanagan. I'm a rock climber. I love the indoor bouldering gym in the winter. It's a great climbing community. I also ride a motorbike and there's a motorbiking all over the place. There's a huge on-off road community here and that's awesome. Um, there's the beach and I want to get into sailing. So a lot of the doctors here are involved in sailing. So there's the yacht club, sailing classes, there's the lake. Oh, and if you like to snowboard or ski, you know, and occasionally med students like to do that, then there's um, Big White. If you like to be able to, to be self-motivated, kind of follow your curiosity, learn from a lot of different people and also learn from people who know infinitely more than you do. There's not the medical hierarchy that you would normally have kind of insulating you from the patient, but at the same time providing you with um, a, a gradient of knowledge. The experience that I've had here at the hospital has definitely met my expectations. I think it's an excellent program. I've never had any doubts about coming. I'm very happy I did. It's a beautiful part of the country and I think it's a huge privilege to be here.